All right, it's Tuesday, December 6th. Ashton and I are waiting on the girls to go to school. Got the kids off to school this morning. Did some running around, like real boring stuff. Had to stop at the doctor's office. I just finished editing a uh, video vlog four. I'm uploading that to YouTube now. Uh, there's really not a plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some batteries because this camera that we're using is eating batteries like crazy. It doesn't take, uh, it doesn't have like a recharging system. It's a camera that you have to put four AA batteries in it and it is just nuking the battery situation. So, gotta get those. And I'm really itching to drive out to the country to swing by and see if the snow is melted. So where I live in Port Hope, if you get to Dale Road, which is basically kind of highway to, that's like where the snow line is. Our properties are north of that. And sometimes one side of the road will be green and the other side will have snow. So I want to drive out and just drive by to see if there's snow on the fields. Hopefully if there's snow out there, they've taken the bait. Uh, other than that, I hope to get this up. This is the first blog that like one day, one day. We're doing pretty good at kicking these out. Lots of feedback. We need your comments. We need you to help us get this around in order for it to grow. The unbelievable part, the other thing is the contest. The contest is still happening. I'm working on something for January right now. Uh, this month's contest, the kids contest, it is absolutely amazing to see all the kids who entered. I think like th over 300 likes is in the lead right now. All right, so we don't have that field, but there is still snow out here. We have the property of the bush. There's still snow out here. If it's there's snow in the field, there's definitely snow uh, inside the bush, which means I put out a ton of bait. If they don't pick up on the bait, then we're gonna have to make a, a drastic change. Just. We we're just on our way to the bull range to do some afternoon shooting, some little stress relief. And uh, around the side of the road, there's Mr. Uh, Red Fox. As much as I really like to hunt, the other side of this is I, I just really like to see animals. I, that's pretty cool to see a red fox. You don't see a whole lot of them, at least I don't. All right, so we're in the Walmart parking lot. I had to run in and get batteries because the camera's going to die. And this is what bothers me about the world. This, poor old lady. That lady has the, the hustle, parks in the back of the parking lot. Oh, no way he moved. That's just a bummer. No, he didn't. And this guy parked in his brand new Corvette at the Walmart in the handicap zone, being a douchebag with no handicap sticker. Sitting there, hundred thousand dollars sports car. Ugh, what does the world come to? Just sitting there, parked in a brand new hundred thousand dollar car or whatever it costs, while that poor old lady hustles it up, looking bitter on his face. Douchebag. Just got to the archery lanes here at East Hill Outdoors. Excuse my, we're gonna go in here, shoot some arrows. Ta-da! Man, I love to shoot. All right, so we've been here for a bit. I'm right in there. One bad shot that time. So, shot for about an hour. We are sighted in. Hopefully if we do get a, a buck to come out, we're ready to go. Unlike that bear I missed earlier in the fall. So, on the road, almost time to go pick up the kids. If you're remotely interested in trying to shoot a bow, get to your local bow shop. I shoot here at East Hill Outdoors on the 115 uh, between Newcastle and Bowmanville. Very knowledgeable. They can hook you up with everything you need. The rent bow's here, so you can give it a try. Proof. Tell me the truth. So you were mad? You Tell were me mad? the truth. That is the proof. So you were mad because- Tell me the truth. 
Joker. <laughs> We're home, picked the kids up from school, I went to the range this afternoon, and when I got home from the range, I got a phone call from my specialist asking me if I could come over to the hospital and get paperwork to get more blood. So tomorrow morning, I gotta get up and get more blood tests taken, which kind of has me worried. Why would I? I got blood. I think it was in the second blood vlog I had to do blood tests, and now I have to redo them. So. It kind of has me wondering if there's something wrong. Maybe the lab tech dropped the blood and they didn't, or they didn't get enough. So we got home. We've just been hanging out. I'm not sure how we're going to, what we're going to do for the rest of the night, Ashton and I. Amber and Emma are just on their way to volleyball. Emma plays rep volleyball. And I'm just kind of hanging out, playing with Ash. But I'm, in the back of my head, I'm wondering, why do I have to go get more blood tests again tomorrow? Ashton. What are you doing? Play with Lego. What do you want to do? I go just play with Lego. All right, we're gonna end this vlog. What's today? December sixth. Been a long day, but I did notice on YouTube that we had a comment about somebody who's new into fishing. So I thought I would tell you. I'm basically gonna throw down three. Four. If I had four things, if I was just going fishing, I'm not talking bass tournament fishing, I was just going to my buddy's cottage for the weekend to fit. What are the four things that I, I really, and I've been thinking about this, I'd really bring. First off, if it's summertime, I'm bringing frogs. No matter what, you can catch northern pike, largemouth, smallmouth bass on them. I'm definitely bringing some some frogs. Frogs is going to be one of them for sure. Any whole belly kind of frogs. This is my like top water. I got some poppers and stuff in there. But I would choose the frog. If I was going to a really good smallie lake, I'd leave the frog and I would probably bring a popper. You, you don't have to have all kinds of crazy stuff to enjoy fishing. No matter what lake I was going to, I'd never fished the lake before. I'm bringing jerk baits. I got shadow wrap here. I really like them. This is the ultimate search lure. Pike again. Walleye. Smallmouth bass. Catch largemouth on these. You can catch sunfish on these. What color? If I had to choose one color, I will give you the ultimate thing that I go by. If it's cloudy outside, I'm throwing like a bright day on cloudy day. If it's raining outside, I'm probably gonna throw white or the clown color. If it's really sunny outside, I'm throwing something a little more natural. Charcoal. Maybe uh, something like perchy looking like this, walleye. But I'm bringing jerk baits. Now, only because it's so versatile, I'm going to bring some tube jigs. Straight up, tube. And I'm probably going to bring, if I'm bringing my tube box, I'm bringing mini tube. Now here's the deal. Every lake on the planet that I can think of has crayfish. So, and if I'm, I'm bringing one color, I'm bringing green pumpkin, green fleck, green of something. That is my choice. You can rig this up on a jig head. You don't even need a real deal tube jig head. This can be drop shot. Even a big tube can be drop shot. So it's really versatile. Last but not least, a white Mr. Twister. The oldest and most simple of baits. A one quarter ounce chartreuse head. And no matter what, for $2 a pack and $1.99 for jig heads, you can catch any fish on any lake from crappy to walleye to pike, bass. You can cast it out and let it sink. Drag it across the bottom. My father would cast these out at night off our cottage dock that we rented. In the, and I'm talking in the middle of the night. Cast it out, let it hit the water, and reel it in as fast as possible. And he would catch walleye like a mad machine. Not bass choices. My overall, what I would bring to my buddy's cottage for the weekend. Four boxes. Maybe a couple hooks. Frogs, jerk baits, tube jigs, and the big old Mr. Twister. Put in the comments below which bait you would bring. 
or which bay you can suggest to everybody. If they're good, I'm going to look at them and I, I'm going to need to fill the wall up over the winter. This has been your vlog for December 6th. Keep it real!